everything you need to start creating videos and edit them with Movavi Video Suite 2021. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, before we get started, this is a sponsored video. The kind people over at Movavi have reached out to me and they've given me access to the Movavi Video Suite 2021. Now, I already had the Movavi Video Suite 2020 and I absolutely love it, but having a chance to play around with the 2021 was something I was really looking forward to. So let's have a look at what's new and what is included in the Video Suite 2021. There will be links in that description below. Now, mind you, this is not free software. This is a paid editor and therefore if you do decide to test this out, check out the links that will give you access to a free trial so you can find out if this is the right piece of software for you. Now let's jump in and open up Movavi Video Suite. Movavi Video Suite opens up and the first thing they ask us is, do you want to customize your homepage? Now I'm going to skip that and I'm going to ask them to ask me later. This is the main interface for the Video Suite. Now the Video Suite is a collection of different programs and they all enable you to do everything you have to do in order to create video content. So here on the left hand side, you see some of the main categories, the tools. So you see we have video, some video tools. This includes a video editor, a program to convert video, record your computer screen. We can also have some audio tools here. We can convert some audio files, record sounds, burn audio to CD, and even play some music. We have photo tools. We can convert our images create slideshows, as well as data tools. And these data tools allow us to work with all sorts of data and export it in various ways. Now we're going to start with the video tools. And the first one I'd like to show you is the screen recorder. Now you can see here that they have a screen recorder. Now I can either click on launch and this gives me access to some settings or I immediately click on start recording. Now I'm going to click on launch first. The video suite is opening up the screen recorder. Now where is this screen recorder? Well, it's here on the right hand side. You can see I can dive into my settings by clicking on that settings icon and I can change the settings for the screen recorder. You can see that I can choose where the files are stored. I can have some keyboard shortcuts. I can set up the video format. This is the format that will be used to record the video file. The webcam format, if I choose to record my webcam as well, I can have some effects, I can highlight the cursor. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to highlight the cursor, nice and big. There we go. We're going to also add a click sound and we're going to highlight the clicks. So whenever I right click or left click, you'll see that by having these colors highlighted. We're going to click on OK and then we're going to start recording our screen. So let's go ahead and select the video icon. Here we go. We now have to select which area of the screen we'd like to record. Now for this demo, I'm going to select an area in the middle of my desktop. So let's go ahead and select this area right here. And that's the only area we'll be recording. So let's go of your cursor. So here at the bottom, you can see we can toggle our webcam on or off, toggle our microphone on or off. We can adjust the sound from the computer or start recording. It gives us a reminder we're highlighting our cursor and we're highlighting the clicks. We can also highlight the keystrokes. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now we're going to record all keystrokes. Everything is being recorded. Let's go ahead and click on record. Three, two, one. And the video file is being recorded. I'm going to move some of these icons around. There we go. Let's move these around. Let's just press the space bar so that you can see that that's also being recorded. I'm going to move Movavi Video Suite 2020 there and then Movavi Video Suite 2021. We're finished. We can click on this little pen icon to annotate. So let's just go ahead and annotate onto our screen. There we go. This is the one you want to use and then press on stop. Okay, I now have my video file. This is being previewed. So you can see the preview here. Let's just mute the volume when we're previewing. And you can see that the cursor is highlighted. You can see the clicks, everything is moving around. And then when I press that space bar, you can see it highlights the keystroke. This is great for tutorial videos or for quick little explainer videos that you want to share with your students. And then we have our video file. Now let's say I want to use this video file in my video editor, which is also part of the Movavi video suite. Well, we can click on open in video editor. If you're not going to be using this in the editor, you can always click on the export button. And when you click on export, you can choose how this is exported. So let's go ahead and export this as demo screen record. 
and let's just export it to our desktop. So we're going to just drop that onto our desktop. Now we are going to export this as an MP4 file, but we can choose any of these other video types. You can see we have WebM, MKV files, MOV files, anything you'd like to use. We're going to select MP4 and then we're going to click on save. Our video file has been exported and we can show it in the folder. Now, instead of opening up this video file in the folder, you can see it right here. It's already present on my desktop, but I'm going to open it up in the editor. And this will give you a chance to now see the video editor as well. So let's go ahead and click on open in video editor. Now the Movavi video editor is also part of our video suite. So here you can now see, I can preview this file, press play. You can hear those clicks. Everything is good to go. Let's add some more video footage. So now we can add files to our import window. On the left hand side, we have a number of effects. So here we have some different filters we can use. We have different transitions, text effects, stickers, and then my favorite down here, more tools. Now what's new in the 2021 version of the video editor and the video suite is that they now have LUTs. So that means that you can change the overall look of your video footage. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. So here I've already prepared a number of video files. So let's go back to the top and let's add in some files. There we go. We're going to click on open and these are added to our browser. We can now simply drag and drop these into our timeline. So let's take this person here looking around the forest and drag it into our timeline. In our preview window on the right hand side, you can see I have my footage and then this new piece of footage. Let's add a quick transition between the two. So on the left hand side, we have our transitions. And let's choose the crossfade effect. There we go. Let's add that transition. Now you can see it will fade from one to the other. Let's add in another piece of content. Forest, we can see that the person is walking around the forest and then we see a beautiful drone shot of that forest. Well, let's add in another transition. We're going to choose one of the new transitions, which is the glitch effect. There we go, glitch three. And you will see that this effect has a really neat effect and that really adds to making cool little videos that your students are going to love watching. Now you have a number of different effects here. You can see we have parallax effects, artistic effects, fades, too many to discuss in today's video, but I do want to highlight the LUT effects. So when you look at that preview window on the right hand side, you can see it's already beautiful footage, but let's throw a LUT on top of that. So here in our more tools, we can now go to color adjustments. And all these adjustments can be used to make your footage even better. So here we have lots of different effects. I'm going to go with a vintage look. So let's just throw that vintage look onto our footage. And you can see it immediately changes the feel of that content. Let's undo that. And let's choose another one. Let's go for a drama effect. I'm going to throw that drama effect on there. And you can see it really highlights some of those colors and it changes what the content looks like. Now let's have a look at what this would look like if you jumped from one to the other. So here I'm going to use this little cut tool. Let's just cut this in half. So let's choose dreamy for the second file. And there we go. And the first one is the original. So here you can see in my preview, we have our original file. And then as soon as we jump to that cut, there we go. The effect changes the entire feeling of this file. Now let's say that you're ready to export this video. At the top, you can see that we have a number of options and one of those is export. So when you click on export, you can export your video. And this again gives you a number of different settings and all these different file types can be used to export your video file. Let's export this as an MP4 file. We're going to title this my edit. And again, we're going to drop this onto our desktop. So let's go to browse and just throw it onto the desktop right there. We can select the quality. Now I am going to select the highest quality and then we're going to click on start. As you can see, it renders that video and then as soon as it's finished rendering, you can access that video file in the folder where you've stored it. This time around, I'm going to close this and again, not open that folder. So let's go ahead and close the editor. Let's go ahead and close this editor. Let's not save this file for now. Let's close the screen recorder and we're back in the Movavi Video Suite 2021. 
Now, there is a lot more to the video suite than just recording video or screencasts and editing video. As you can see here, we can convert videos as well. So let's take one of those files that we've created, an MP4 file, and let's convert it. So we're going to launch the converter. Now again, the video suite is going to open up the software and we now have our video converter. So let's find that file we've just made. Here we go, my edit, drag and drop it into the converter. Now here I get all the information about the file at the top. You can see it's 252 megabytes. I can compress the file. I can click on this button here and I can even hard code some subtitles into it. And at the bottom, I can choose the various file formats I want to convert this to. So let's say that I want to convert this to an MOV file. Well, I can select that from down below. Let's choose this MOV QuickTime file and we're going to click on convert. Now I'm not changing any of the other settings. Here we go, my MOV file is finalized and I can now double click on this and you can see that this MOV file plays no problems whatsoever and everything works just the way it's supposed to work. This is an incredibly fast converter and is very useful whenever you're working with various file types and between different systems and you just need to have access to the correct file type at any time. Movavi Video Suite has that converter built into their program. Now let's go ahead and close the video converter and let's look at some of the audio tools they have available because that too is part of the suite. So here in the audio tools, you can see we can convert audio. We can also record our own audio. Now let's start by recording audio and then we'll convert that audio file. So let's go ahead and click on launch. Now this is going to open up the audio recorder. And as you can see here, it's already capturing all that audio that is being recorded by the built-in microphone of the laptop I'm using. Here we can choose which capture device we're using, and then we can also choose the file rename structure. I'm going to click on start capturing. Testing, testing. I am now recording an audio file, which I'm then going to convert into a different file type. And we click on stop capture. We now have our file. We can click on view saved files. And right there, we have our audio file. So now I'm going to use that audio file. We're going to dive back into the Movavi video suite and we're going to convert the audio file from MP3 into a different audio format. So let's launch our converter. I'm going to click on launch, opens up that converter. Let's go ahead and drag that audio file into our converter. There we go, we have our audio file. We can change it to an MOV file, just as we've done before, but I don't want that, I want audio. And we're going to convert this MP3 file, which is 264 kilobytes, into a WMA file, which is also going to be 256 kilobytes. There we go, we're going to click on convert. And that file has been converted. I can now open this up, preview this in my player. Testing, testing. As you can see, everything works like a charm. Finally, we're going to have a look at the photo tools. So here you have some photo tools and this allows us to, again, convert things. So we can convert our images from one type into another or we can create some slideshows. So let's do some slideshows. We're going to click on a new project and this will open up a new slideshow project. Now, how does this work? Well, it takes all the photos or images that you give it and then it turns it into a video file using the video editor to create that slideshow. So here we can add files. Let's go ahead and click on those. There we go. I'm adding three images that were created by some of my students and we're going to turn this into a slideshow. Now the first thing we can do is select a template. Now here at the top, when I click on templates, we have a number of templates that can automatically be applied to these images. So here you can see random transitions, geometric transitions, artistic transitions. Now I'm going to just say random and it gives me a preview of that slideshow. Let's go ahead and click on next. We can now select some music we'd like to add. I'm not going to add any music. You can add your own music or use any of these built-in tracks, but we're going to skip that for now. And then here we can preview it. We can give it a title. So let's just title this a demo. And then the end titles, well, thank you. The subtitle will be work by and then I'm going to leave it blank because I'm not going to share the names of my students. And then we can also add a subtitle to the end and I'm just going to pop my name there. We can choose the duration of each slide and then once everything is ready to go, 
simply click on this play button here to preview it. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to apply this and preview the file. Here you can see this is what that slideshow will look like. Automatically chooses a transition and it goes from image to image within that end text. This is an incredibly fast way of creating a slideshow. Let's say that you've had a sports day at school and you have hundreds of photographs. Pop them in here, select the duration, choose a template and you're good to go. You've got a slideshow ready to share with parents and students. Once you're ready to export, click on next. And now we can save the video, continue in manual mode or upload it online. We're going to save it as a video. Choose the file format you'd like to save it as. I'm going to choose this as slideshow. And again, save it on the desktop, choose high quality and start the export. This renders the video, video is exported and we have our video ready to go. Open up that folder and here we have our slideshow. Beautiful video, high quality, and it took me less than 10 seconds to get this up and running, all with Movavi Video Suite. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel below, and dive into that description below where we have even more links for you to find out more about the Movavi Video Suite 2021. Now, I hope you've enjoyed seeing Movavi Video Suite in action. There are many programs part of this suite, and if you would like to have a go at trying out this amazing piece of software, there is a link in that description below. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.